Hey guys, not, we, we covered this the other day. Today, what we're going over is punched in the face. See my little drawing here. One of the main things I notice when guys are squatting or benching is, or even dumbbell benching, the wrist will go like this. And I, I immediately, to, you know, for the analogy to give the guys so they can then really uh, picture how it should be, I said, imagine you're punching somebody in the face. If you punch them like this, What's going to happen is you're going to break your wrist, okay, or break your hand. But if you're trying to break their face, and you lock in, and you squeeze the bar as hard as you can, and really secure that, that wrist musculature and the hand strength, and as an aside, that's why we do a lot of grip training, and then you punch a guy in the face, you're going to break his face, and that's what you're trying to impart on the bar. That doesn't just go for pressing, that goes for squats, anything. If you see somebody's wrist broken like this when they're squatting, they're not producing as much force or strength as they, they're capable of. So when you're uh, benching, pressing, all that type of stuff, squeeze the bar as hard as you can. You can even feel it, how the wrist will lock in a lot more than if I'm here, kind of at the mercy of the bar. You know what I mean? I've seen sets just die in the middle of them because guys will, it happened last week. One guy, I think he was putting up 270. He got two reps locked in, last rep went like this. I knew right away, set was over. So you got to pretend you're punching somebody in the face anytime you have a bar or, or dumbbell in your hand, okay? So punch in the face, remember that concept, you'll see your strength numbers jump immediately.